testing, testing. This is only a test. Testing, testing. Good morning, Kettering College. Good morning. Okay, okay, Kettering. Whoa. Give me, give me some bass. Okay. I am here somewhere. I need my voice, please. Just a technical. No? Yes? Can you hear me? You sure? Let's try it one more time. Good morning, Kettering College. Okay, we're, we're obviously very academic, very sedate and cerebral, and so we don't know how to make noise. Not, not that we ought to, but I think it's always good for our lungs and for our energy levels. Are you guys doing well in your classes? Okay. All right. Maybe I shouldn't have asked that question. Now, now understand that you are in a place that is highly recommended, highly esteemed in the community. And if you were not challenged, if you, know what, if you were not prodded to do your best and then some, then our reputation wouldn't be what it is. That you're here to gain an excellent education, a rigorous education, so that you can be excellent professional clinicians in the workplace. You stand upon the shoulders of those who've gone before. And when they see the name Kettering College, it is a hallmark, it's a stamp of authenticity that you have been nurtured in a spiritual context, that you have been trained with academic rigor, that you are worthy of the Kettering stamp and seal. We're praying for you for your success, to make it through, because we understand that it's not just about school, but we have lives as well. We have children, we are in relationships, we work as well. We understand life is difficult. Life is challenging. And so we pray for your sanity. We pray for your success. We're praying for your relationships. And if we can be of any more personal support and help, you got my number? You can always get hold of me 24-7. We're here for you. Anyway, let's pause and acknowledge God's presence, and then we're going to introduce uh, those who will minister to us this morning. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we again pause to recognize you as sovereign, as chief, as creator, sustainer, and redeemer. Thank you, Lord, that you have woken us up this morning and you've given us purpose and drive, and you give our lives meaning. As we pause at the beginning, in the middle, <laughs> in this day, I pray that you might meet us at the level of our deepest need and concern and that you might reveal yourself in some unique way to each and every one of us this morning. Bless all that will happen this morning and may it all be done to your name's honor and glory. We give you thanks and praise in the name of your son Jesus. Amen. Without any further ado, please give a very warm, wonderful Kettering College welcome to the Wilberforce University Choir! Good morning, Kettering. Good morning. Try that one more time. Good morning, Kettering. It's certainly a pleasure to be here to uh, drive, I guess, the 20 or so minutes uh, from uh, Xenia, Ohio, or Wilberforce, Ohio, which is just next to Xenia, uh, and sing for you. Standing behind me are members of the Wilberforce University Choir, uh, and uh, we are uh, just back from our spring, or not spring break, our winter break, starting our spring semester, and uh, it's been a couple years since we've been here, but, it's, uh, but we're certainly thankful and excited to be back. I'm going to talk a little bit during the program about the, uh, the choir and some of our recent successes. Um, but I know you're going to want to hear them sing a little more than me talk, so I'll save that for later. But we'll start off with this first song, With My Whole Heart, to bring uh, uh, the Spirit of the Lord in here, because I tell you, it's, it's very exciting uh, to, to work with the students and to, to practice and uh, to travel and sing, but I tell you what, the thing that drives us most is uh, giving praise to the Lord through song. All of these students have been given great opportunities to travel, to sing, they've been given great gifts, 
But to return those gifts to the Lord in song, I think, is what, is what the most important gift and opportunity is. And so we just want to share that with you now with my whole heart.
mention of our, our drummer, Gregory Darty, who's actually a professor <laughs> of piano and voice at the University. This uh, uh, February, we uh, celebrate Black History Month. And, um, but throughout our, our year and, uh, and our itinerary and our, our repertoire, we celebrate the, uh, the great tradition of the spiritual. And we find that um, uh, in the African-American spiritual, uh, also known as uh, pretty much the folk song of the African-American uh, tradition, and uh, the folk song uh, really grown out of uh, the slavery tradition, uh, we find a rich history of music uh, and a great opportunity to present new songs in many different ways. As many spirituals, the hundreds and hundreds of spirituals there are, there are hundreds of arrangements of these spirituals, which makes hundreds and hundreds of spirituals that I can put my hands on. Um, uh, many of the same melody, same tune, uh, but the message oftentimes is very much the same. I find it very interesting when we look at the text of these spirituals that oftentimes we're talking about going away. Songs way over in Beulah Land and uh, Still Away, Still Away, or uh, I Got a Home in That Rock, or go someplace talking about home and going uh, to a, a, a different destination. Uh, of course, we, we, we read that from a theological perspective to know that uh, they're talking about going home, going to heaven, going to see God and, and Jesus in heaven. But, uh, but oftentimes, these, uh, these slaves used these songs in code to communicate to one another. Uh, they couldn't tell each other directly, listen, we're going to try to escape to the north tomorrow. So they, so they coded it in song. That's how we have that, uh, uh, the melody, still away, still away to Jesus. How many of you, are you all familiar with that, still away? How many people are familiar? Wow, a lot of you all are not familiar. That's one of the, uh, actually one of the songs I grew up in. As a child, I never really understood what that meant, still away, still away. I mean, that's kind of a, uh, an older kind of English uh, phrase about going somewhere. But just sing the melody. Choir. Still away, ready? And. We didn't prepare. I wasn't ready for that. But, but we, uh, we do have a, a arrangement of Still Away, and that's one of our favorites. But that, that, um, that song was used to, for them to discuss, we're going to go a different place. We're going to try to escape to the north. And so when we sing these songs, we have a greater appreciation not only for the music, for the great, the, 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 the simple but beautiful melodies, but we have a, a greater appreciation for the history that it represents. And we're going to do another song, uh, uh, a, a spiritual, with that same uh, history, with that same ideology, uh, way over in Beulah Land.
some, another a spiritual, uh, from a little of a, a, a different uh, a tradition, but uh, this one is taken directly from uh, a theme from the Bible, and one that we probably won't say taken from a, uh, a, a slave dialogue uh, uh, to do something. John the Revelator. I'm going to ask uh, that Fred Taylor, he is a uh, music major from Cleveland, Ohio, lead us in this one.
just for me. Tell you something very special to know that the Lord, that Jesus died just for me. I tell you, we didn't practice this, but the Spirit tells me right now that, and, and not even that somebody in this room, but I know me personally. It's, it's a challenge every day to lean on the Lord. Paul says that he has to die daily. And I love the words that he has to die daily. But dying is something that we don't want to do. The natural human inclination says that we want to hold on to the lives ourselves, but we have to die daily to Christ. And I don't know what this, this week, this day holds for you, this weekend, or the next week holds for you. But know that Jesus died just for me, just for you. And that if nothing else that you take from what we do today, remember that you have someone that you can lean on in Jesus Christ. Now, as again, I say that this is maybe even more for me than for anybody in this room. But it takes something very special. It takes a very strong spirit and the arm of God to allow us to lean on him, to die to self. And our prayer through this song and through the others that we will sing, that this will give you strength. Strength not only to take on the challenges that you have after this worship service is over for the remainder of the day but strength to lean on God. And then when you lean on God, to have the strength to trust him, to give, get rid of the things in, the, in your life that set you back, to trust him. They pierce him in his eye. Build up.
Want to take a second to introduce these students to you. Uh, I think we have enough that you can. Uh, uh, we won't take too much time. Uh, this is Jacqueline Smith. She is a uh, actually grad, just recently graduated from Mobile Force University, but is uh, coming back and working, uh, doing some work with me with the choir. Uh, she is uh, uh, has her degree, a bachelor's degree, uh, and she's from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, Frederick Taylor from Cleveland, Ohio, junior um, music major. Hi, Brianna Binyard from San Diego, California, graduating senior, music major. Hello, my name is Kimberly Jackson. I am a graduating senior from Baltimore, Maryland, music major. Hello, my name is Mike again. I'm from Oakland, California, and I'm a freshman music major. Good morning, my name is Garrick Wilder. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm a freshman music major. Good morning, I am Teresa Davis. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I'm a junior music major. Good morning, my name is John Vaught from Warren, Ohio, vocal performance major, senior. Good morning, everybody. My name is John Byron. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and I'm a junior piano performance major. I said I was going to tell you a little bit about the choir and what we've done recently. Just um, uh, actually a month ago, we had, had the opportunity to uh, perform at the White House. Uh, and uh, on December 15th, it was an amazing opportunity. Um, and uh, we, we were going there expecting it to sing for a uh, private uh, White House event. They have these holiday parties throughout the month of December. Uh, and when I got there, um, they, when they, our, the person who brought it pulled me aside and said, you know, President Obama and the First Lady is here. They're going to come greet the choir, uh, but don't tell the choir. So, so they didn't know. They're singing for hours and hours and so forth and Christmas music. And, and I was going to sing some of the songs we did there, but it's all Christmas stuff. So, uh, so we figured we wouldn't uh, pull that out just now. But, uh, but it but turned out to be what was going to be an exciting day. Never, nonetheless, to sing at the White House turned out to be really an exceptional day when the choir was whisked away into this uh, private delegate room, and they were preparing to take a picture, uh, and then they told them to make space for two people who were going to come in 
And uh, I think by that time they caught on what was about to happen. Uh, and then walked the, the president and first lady. And uh, that was uh, truly an amazing experience to take a picture with him, talk with him, and even sing a song for them. And, uh, and so this is uh, just one of the recent uh, uh, opportunities that this choir's had. And, um, and every year we travel abroad, um, around the country, actually, actually not abroad, but we've, uh, we, we travel to the West Coast. We've been to uh, Los Angeles just last year. We do an annual tours uh, to promote the school, recruit students. So we go to churches and uh, sing songs, visit high schools and so forth. Uh, and it's a great opportunity. Not only is this a class, uh, that these students are part of choir is a two credit hour class at Wilberforce even though we meet more than two times a week but uh, uh, there's a two credit hour course that anybody can register for. Uh, we believe that the true education uh, can come outside of the classroom through the experience and being on the road and traveling to Los Angeles, Las Vegas, San Diego, um, uh, Seattle, Washington, Washington DC, Philadelphia, New York, all, all around the country uh, we think is an opportunity not only uh, uh, to prepare for uh, professional careers, regardless of what your major is, uh, but uh, a great way to uh, learn about uh, this country and to use your gift uh, uh, to promote Wilberforce. So we're going to do one last song. I think we've got a few more moments. Um, Teresa, I'm going to call on you again. Uh, Lord, you are good. And we've done a couple songs and we put our hands together, but we didn't have, I didn't have a sense that you all were with us. So we're going to ask you all to put your hands together. When it's time, I'm going to allow Teresa to direct you on that one. Lord, you are good. Oh, people from every 
Wilton Torrance with the Versus Choir. Wilberforce University Choir. Just remain standing as we pray, Father in heaven. Surely you have been in this place and we didn't even recognize it, Lord. You have kissed this place with your presence. And we have been changed and blessed and challenged. And now, Lord, we ask for the many blessings that you have for each individual here that you'll rain down abundantly upon us, blessings of wholeness, of peace, of restoration and health. And as we depart from this place, Lord, we know we'll never depart from your presence. So shape us, nurture us, allow us to be the people that you created, people that you had envisioned that would bring glory to your high and holy name. We glorify you, we lift you up, and in all things, O oh God, we we seek to be a blessing to you and to those that you put in our pathway. So go with us, Father, as we enter through these doors into the field. May the Holy Spirit in Jesus bless us, we pray. In his name we thank you. And everyone said together, amen. amen. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful weekend.